Welcome back to Titan Souls. Uh, apologies if I'm not in my normal cheery nature. I just found out that after recording for an hour of Titan Souls, turns out my recording didn't save. So that's wonderful. Very happy about that. We killed two Titans. Sorry you don't get to see it. It was this big, like, magma kind of ball looking thing. And the other Titan that you didn't get to see was this thing. It's this skull thing. I guess. Uh, there's a hole in the back of the head where there was like a vent and it had like steam coming out of it and you had to get hidden there. This one didn't take me nearly as long. Down here is I believe the body to the skeleton head, which is actually pretty cool. I do really like that. But Lava Zone is complete now. So, hooray. So sorry y'all didn't get to see any of that. I am recording this time. I made sure of it. In fact, I just double checked right now to make sure I was recording. I also made sure the audio was recording as well. I still don't know why it didn't record for those two episodes, but if it, if I have more problems with the screen capture, I might just get a new one because I've had so many problems with it. But I also can't go back to my old one because it won't record Titan Souls. It won't record anything that has to be non-full screen. I can't go back to that, so I'd have to find something new. Regardless, we beat some more Titans, so that's cool, I guess. And now I have to figure out where I'm supposed to go now, because I don't actually know. I left the snow zone because I don't think I know how to get out of there. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure I need I know how to leave here. If I remember correctly, I actually have to go this way and through this door. And that's how I leave. What is this way? Does this go back? Yeah, this goes back here. Okay, so that was the skeleton dude. This is something? So there's still two more titans in this area I have yet to be. Okay, I'm assuming one's in there. And the other is up here? Big arrow. What? Big arrow. Hello. Do I shoot big arrow? Legendary titan slayer. Oh. A fellow titan slayer. We're fighting apparently. Also, your name I could actually read. So that's cool. Oh, you have multiple. You have multiple arrows. That's not fair. Oh, great! I'm back here. Do I have to start back here every time? I think I just didn't walk over the the save point. Are the little glowy areas on the ground like your respawn place? I'm pretty sure it is. So I think I just forgot to step on it. Is the Titan Slayer a Titan? Because if they're not, why am I fighting them? There we go. Okay, so that's that's there. Let's see what this other thing is. So that way I know which one I want to do least. And I can avoid that one until the very last moment. Gold? Oh, is this... This is... I want to say... They're so... Yeah, I do have my arrow. I recall something about uh, a another avarice. Hello? Is this... Oh, it's a ladder. I thought it was stairs. It's a ladder. I see. Because I, I saw something about this one looking up. Something that one time. I didn't mean to. But... Well, that was quick. Okay, well, I want to see what the chest does. The funny... Funny chest with the mouth. I wonder if it uses the same music. I think the music is similar... Pretty similar from Death's Door. So I am actually pretty excited about that. Because I do like the Avarice music. Where did you go? Here we go. I'm doing this again because I realized the... Uh, Oh, the music is totally the same. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I did this, and then I reacted to it, and I realized I didn't say anything, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to say stuff. That's my job. So uh, I'm going to talk now <laughs> when I react to it. Oops. I didn't, I was, well, part of the reason was I was listening to the music, and I didn't recognize it as being similar, but that guitar right there, the dun 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 that part, that, that's basically the same. No, but this, this is cool. Um, I think that's a gem inside its mouth that I have to hit, and I 
think maybe I hit it when it leans down like that, when it fires the coin. If I can get it in before it fires that coin out, that's going to be tough timing. But if I can do that, I think that'll kill it. Yeah, it's similar. I can hear it. Oh, you're right there. Okay, so I have to wait a little bit. I was a little off on when I thought I'd do it. I just needed to wait like one more jump and then it would have then it would have done that. Oh, I should talk about the, the other Titans I defeated. So the skull thing was pretty straightforward. Um, you just had to hit the, the back where like the vent was. Where the, uh, where are you, right there. Did that not hit it? Maybe I'm wrong about the gym. I mean, it's the most pink thing in the room, unless the eyes on the coins have something to do with it. In which case, I don't even know. Maybe the coins... No, but the coins are high up, so I don't know. They just, like, they're kind of going in all directions. I don't know if it has any rhyme or reason. Oh, you're right there. Um, so yeah, the skull was pretty straightforward. And there was this weird, like, blob creature that was... Like the slime, except the slime separated. This thing spat fire at you. Fire, magma, lava, who knows. And so it spat that at you, which I guess it was made of. And it shot out these boulders. And the boulders exploded when... Because uh, it spat it out and then it would suck it back in. And so once it sucked back in um, and some of the fire touched a boulder, it would light the boulder and then the boulder would explode. I'm not entirely sure. It's Mechanics behind it are a little, a little weird. So I guess I don't have to shoot that. So then what do I do? Unless I'm just not doing it correctly or not fast enough. Regardless. And the boulders did not have a very large blast range. You had to be touching the boulder for it to actually hit you. And so what you could also do was when the creature spat or sucked back in, you could fire your arrow. It would swallow the arrow and it just stole it from you. And then what you could do was you could use your, uh, like your, that, your force kind of grab thing to drag the entire creature, Titan, um, towards you. No, I was right. I just had to get the timing right. There we go. There it goes. Thank you, Avarice. This magma creature, it was really annoying because you had to drag it towards the boulder while trying to get the lava it spit out to light the boulder on fire, which they basically had to be next to each other, while trying not to get hit by the fire, and it kept jumping back away from you. And so every time you pull it, it would jump away from you. It was really frustrating. Once it exploded, then like all the magma went everywhere and then it would kind of suck back in really quickly. You had to drag your arrow again, make sure you were lined up properly and fire at the crystal gem that was like left behind. I, I hated that fight. It drove me insane. And then on top of that, finding out that none of my things were recording, it's just, so nice. It's lovely. I'm very pleased at everything that's happening. Now it's time to deal with this Titan Slayer business stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with this all is. Knight? Oh wait, you... I... Are you flesh under there? What's the deal? Oh, I recognize this music. Oh, you... Okay, so I have to hide behind the pillars at all times. Good to know. I recognize this music. The soundtrack is on Spotify. And because out of curiosity, because I loved David Fenn's work with Death's Door, I was like, what does the music for this game sound like? Pretty good. I just wish I could actually enjoy all of it. Instead, I'm focusing on not dying. It's really cool hearing the uh, influences like Avarice that made it into Death's Door. I really, I really enjoy that. I think that's really cool. Can I, can I move? Moving would be nice. Oh, I got stuck there for a bit. I'm already dead. Why do you have to shoot me while I'm on the ground bleeding? But no, this is one of the tracks I recognized. I didn't know <laughs> anything, because this was long before I even had the game or played it. I didn't know what anything meant, and so... I just remember I heard this music before. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Your arrows are much stronger than mine. Good to know. Does that mean I can only hide behind each pillar once? Is it just the standard equipment of Titan Slayers to use a bow? Okay, so do I have to get the... 
arrow to hit you again. Can I do anything with these? What do I do? The only purple thing I see is like the the electricity coming from the arrow. And I shoot the arrow to activate the fight, so I'm guessing it's something to do with that. But other than that, I don't know. My fear is those arrows, uh, the other ones, not the one that's shooting around the room, are very powerful, and they're fast. And that scares me, because I have a feeling I'm going to get shot by them a lot. I'm pretty sure I rolled there, but fine, whatever. And then the other question is what happens when all the pillars are destroyed? Does the whole roof just collapse? What's the deal with that? Oh, you know what we mean? If, like... If one of the tricks was, no, you can't have all the pillars collapse because then the roof will collapse. So you need the pillars, to st the pillars to stay there. Otherwise, everyone dies. Can I just shoot you? No, you're floating. What do I do against someone who's floating? Okay, you got your arrow again. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I don't know what's happening. What is happening? Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is one of the ones where I don't even have an idea. My best guess is maybe have all the pillars be knocked down. Weak spot. Clearly the, like, exposed skin. Problem is, they're wearing armor. So I don't exactly know what to do about that. And there's that. I almost need to be... I almost need to not lose track of them, because every time I can't see them, that's when I get shot with the arrow. If I can always see, what was this, what was this guy's name? If I can always see Elhanan, then I can always see when they're about to shoot the arrow, so I'll always have time to react. And that's, yeah, you move so fast. And this is another one where I, just because I just got done recording a nightmare, if I'm struggling for a bit, I'm not at all hesitant to look it up at this point in time. Okay, so I clearly, I can't be too close. I'm gonna try my best. I would like to kill this thing, this episode, because last time I got to... I mean, in total, that'd be four. So that's pretty good progress. All right, so what do I do? Do I just have to knock down all the pillars? So at the moment, I don't have a better plan. Great. I also wish this intro sequence didn't take so long because then I can just get straight into it instead of having to watch this every time. That'd be nice. Hit this one, yeah. My patience is all but dry, so I'm only going to try this like three more times. Because at this point, it's, I just want to know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to break down all the pillars? Am I supposed to be aiming for something else? I don't know. Yeah, that's so fast, and there's not really any indication of when it's going to fire. I know it seems like... I'm not giving this a whole lot of time. I gotta tell you, I was really, I was really frustrated. Oh, that was, I barely... Uh-oh. No! Because I knew, uh, I realized a little too late Oh wait, this pillar's already cracked. That means the arrow's going to go straight through it and then kill me. And so I was like, oh, I need to go. And then, of course, the ricochet. But I actually didn't do too bad. I think the the strat is to stay at the bottom and then slowly make your way up, dash across, or I could start from the top and then make my way to the bottom, since I'm right here. There's like no, no warning. 
which for me sucks. And I guess it's four arrows as opposed to three, which I got lucky that one time when I accidentally ran into the wall. I just barely missed it, which is why I thought there was one less. So that's why I dashed across. I'll give it one more try because I'm not going to spend, you know, 20 minutes here trying to figure out what to do only to realize that, oh, the pillars have nothing to do with it. No! Oh, that was the last one. Okay, well, I broke all the pillars and nothing seemed to happen. I don't know if that's just because I died or not. But just because of the benefit of the doubt, I'll give it one more try. At least, actually, um, the, the good thing is I have a name. <laughs> Before, all the, the language was foreign. I couldn't understand it, couldn't read it, so I was like, I don't know what this thing is. Weird big slime thing. Big snake, slee, slug, eagle monster thing. Uh, I don't know. Lava, lava ball. I don't know what these names are. Is something happening? The pillars aren't broken. All the pillar. Okay, they're not all broken yet. There's still this one. Okay, all the pillars are broken now. Nothing's different. Good to know. Do I have to hit the arrow again? Because if that's the case, I doubt that's going to happen. Okay, while well, the pillars broke, nothing happened. I don't know what to do. So, what I'm going to do is go and look it up, then I'll come back. Fair? Are we, all, are we all good with that? At least I tried. I was successful in getting all the pillars to break. Nothing occurred. So unless I'm missing something, which clearly I am, I'm going to look it up. Because I'm not going to spend the next half an hour trying to figure out what to do. Okay, so the video I just watched, um, the, <laughs> this person beat El Hanan in like 50 seconds. Under 50 seconds. It was more like 30. So that's pretty impressive. I had a feeling, um, you could shoot the arrow. Um, and I guess that's why, like, it shows, hey, the armor's coming off and everything. So that makes sense. But honestly, I just didn't want to deal with it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to dodge. Oops. So let's see how many attempts this takes me now. Now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing, at least. So also, I mean, lore-wise, I mean, I don't really understand the lore. I guess the arrow has something to do with the Titan Slayers. Um, because they're both purple. And both of them have, like... Well, by shooting the arrow, it affects both of us, so... It must be tied... I don't know, to, like, our soul or something. It's related somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch a lore video on this one, too. Nope. Okay. Well, at least I can do it. Are you re okay, you're retrieving your arrow. So then these are just here just to literally, so I have protection. I appreciate it. I was inclined to think that it had something to do with the fight just because they broke. If they were just there, which I understand why they do break, because they don't want you just hiding behind it the whole time. But on the contrary, because it's interactable, everything so far that's been interactable has had something to do with the fight. But the pillars aren't necessarily required. But because they broke, I assumed it had something to do with uh, the fight. And because of, like, the armor, I assumed that maybe by, like, I don't know, by getting the building to collapse, you could... Um, I'm still alive somehow. That's a miracle. Uh, you could maybe, like, crush the armor or get the armor to disappear. I don't know. But I do see what it's trying to show you, which, okay, you shoot the arrow, the armor disappears. See how that's a mechanic? But, I mean, the first couple times I didn't even notice it, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was looking at the name, and I was looking at my limp body on the ground. Because I did notice it eventually, but by that point I had not, oops, I had not put two and two together. Another thing I should mention is I'm planning on doing a reaction stream next week. 
Uh, so if you all want to come down and do that, I don't know what day yet, but I will write that on the community post. So make sure you're looking out for all those sweet, sweet community posts so you can get notified of when I'm planning on streaming. Because that will happen sometime. But I didn't. I don't know what day yet. Sometime next week. Oh, I was not fast enough. Now the cycle restarts. I'm hiding behind this pillar specifically, because that was the one in the video that was hidden. That was too shallow. I should have put a little bit more power. Also, I did see the front of your face. Very scary. Terrifying stuff. Oh, you're retrieving your arrows manually. Hi. Fancy meeting you here. I guess there's the audio cue of the bow being drawn back. But even then, that's still not a great cue. Okay, well now we're just kind of fighting here. Time. Nope, and I'm not at the right angle. I'm stuck. Oh, if only I hadn't gotten stuck there. That was the longest I've survived. Okay, I think now also, I've just realized there is a slight cue. It's an audio cue for the bow in the drawing back of the string. I mean, with everything else going on, I think it's kind of understandable that I didn't hear it at first. But there's also an audio cue for the, the purple arrow too. But even so, you can still get hit. I do like doing that, where I try to hit the arrow and it bounces back. And I recollect it, but it's fun. I missed. Ooh, but I'm still alive somehow. Ooh, this is perfect. No! Oh, oh, if I had gone down a little bit, I could have done it. Oh, you're right there. Well. Nope. I'm not lined up properly. And that's my other complaint with this game. It's really hard to line up properly at times. Are you collecting your arrows now? Because, uh, I mean, in the case where you, you've done the thing you're supposed to, and you're lined up and everything, except you're not, because it's really hard to line up. Hi. Yeah, I knew I'd die. I was not far enough away from you. So it's like, okay, I did the thing, his armor's gone, now I have to line myself up properly, because I'm not in the right position to shoot the arrow. And by the time you are actually lined up, then your chance is gone. The window has passed. And so you better hope when you do uh, shoot the arrow and the armor disappears that you are in a good position. Because if you're not, then you're screwed. There's nothing else you can do. Although I do have to say, keyboard and mouse settings, which is what I'm using, are not the recommended settings for that game. this game. That is important to note. I just ran right into that. It, at the start of the game, it says Gamepad Highly Recommended. Come on, where is this arrow? No. I couldn't be get behind the pillar in time. But I'm making progress. I'm getting better at dodging, and I'm getting more consistent with hitting the arrow. Which is good. That's what I would like to see. Because I know what I'm supposed to do, so I can get better at it, I can practice. I... Uh, 
Why did I turn instead of aiming directly forward so I could shoot the arrow? I mean, even if I did, I would not have enough time to hit the armor, so it was a doomed attempt anyway. But that is something the tutorial said, is make sure it's close so that you have the highest opportunity. But trying to do that is not the easiest. Oh, I did not expect that. Nope. I didn't think I would make it there. No, and then when that launches, I think I need to be far away. Unless I roll immediately when it fires, I don't think I have enough time. So unfortunately for there, I have to back away and then get close again, which when there's arrows firing at you is not the easiest. None of this is easy, it's not supposed to be, which I get that's the point. But I also think it's easy to call someone bad online, and then when you try to do it yourself, it's a lot harder. You know, well, why don't you just do it? Well, why don't you buy the game for yourself and then try and do it and see how, how good you are? Okay, so apparently that can happen. It's now getting to the point where it's becoming annoying and tedious and repetitive. So, I'm getting that stage again. It's always a fun stage, because then my voice changes, and then I have so many interesting things to talk about, and then my commentary just goes from, I don't know, literally anything, to I'm annoyed, I'm upset, this sucks. Which is a mirror image of what happened last time, except last time it took a lot shorter to get to that point. If also, I want to reiterate, this game is not at all my type. I, I'm not real big fan of stuff like this, and so if it seems like I'm complaining about it a lot, or I get frustrated easier than I maybe should, I just wasn't paying attention, it's because this is all my... It, this is not for me. It's not the type of game I enjoy, it's not the type of game I really like playing, but I mean, I'm doing it for the channel, and like I said previously, I just had it around, and it was something to film. So, there you go. I needed to do it eventually, and so I know there's something to say about, well, if you're not enjoying it, don't play it, but also, one episode, whatever, I'm not going to stop it right in the middle of a series when my plan is to beat it, regardless of how upset I get or not. Wait. I can sprint? How am I just figuring this out now? I did not know you could sprint. Oh. That... You know, that kind of changes a lot, doesn't it? Maybe what I should do is try and dodge all three arrows first. And then while he's retrieving his arrows, then I go for the purple arrow. Because then I'm not being shot at, so I can focus on trying to hit the arrow. Maybe that's the strategy? It's not what the video did, but I think for me it's better than trying to both focus on so many things at once. I know, I, read, I don't take my own advice. Because I, I was about to talk about how I feel like I've gotten worse, where so many tries ago I was so much better. And I was consistently dodging arrows and consistently hitting the arrow. And now I'm not. And I thought, well, maybe I need to take a break. Maybe I need to step back and try it again later. Which, one, I can't do at the moment, so that doesn't really help. But two, um, how I thought, well, didn't I talk about that in a video earlier? Where I talked about how the, 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 the message of like, oh, try, try again is actually can sometimes be harmful because that like, more leads into brute force as opposed to stepping back and clearing your head and seeing things from a different perspective. And how the the whole message of just get back on the saddle again can actually be hurtful. And how I'm, uh, then I thought about how I'm not taking my own advice because I'm just trying to brute force this and trying it again and again and not taking breaks. But at the moment, I kind of can't take breaks. I really need to do this at this time. I have a very limited time frame at the moment, and so this is when I can do it. And I'm not about to do this over multiple days. I'm getting it done now. 
no matter how long it takes me. No matter how many people I hurt. In certain things, I just, I keep doing it until I get it done. And I'm gonna brute force it, even though it's not the best strategy. And I really should just step away. However, maybe it's also tied to my dislike of more, uh, of motivation speakers as well. Okay, can I get this arrow? No, I can't. I think dodge and then try and hit the arrow. I mean, it takes so much longer, but I, I think... Because what's killing me the most? The arrows. Well, of course, the arrows are the only thing that can kill me. But specifically, the non-purple arrows are things that are killing me. So I think I should focus on just dodging first. Because then I have to focus on so much less. Because whenever I'm trying to do five different things, I always forget about one, and that screws me. And then whenever I try to focus on the other ones, then I miss something. There's just only so many things my brain can handle at once. And I think at this point, I'm just focused on way too many. Yeah, and there I was focused on the arrow, so I wasn't paying attention to Elhanan. I'm gonna be honest, I can't wait for this series to be over. I don't know how much longer I have left, but I can't be that much. I don't know if I can take too much more, but I'm, I'm committed. I'm not ending this until I finish this fight and this game. The series will go on for as long as I say it does. Why is the default? I've been talking about some not, I mean, too deep stuff, but I've been talking about some more personal things than I normally do. Why is my default when I fight a boss that I'm having a hard time with to go and talk about personal stuff? I don't know why that's... I don't know why that's my default. Who did this to me? Why did you turn that setting on? I thought I had that disabled. Because it's like, okay, I, you're supposed to like readjust, but I have no time. There is no time to readjust my positioning and still attempt to hit the air or uh, aim and then hit. There's no time. I There's just not. It's gone. I think that's the longest I've survived, but still. So at least I'm surviving longer, but I'm not making any progress. I mean, unless you count surviving longer progress, but it doesn't change anything. The status quo is still the same. In fact, it's not as good because then there's less pillars for me to hide behind. So if you really think about it, it's all not. I mean, maybe the arrow bounces around less, which is maybe better, because then it's slightly easier to hit, but Surviving doesn't change anything in this fight. It doesn't make it any easier. Because I'll be honest, this is longer than I spent on the previous Titan I had a problem with. I've now, I think, officially spent more tries, a longer amount of time, just in general. It's taken me longer. And I just want to know, is it... I don't know how long it takes other people, because I don't know whether to feel bad or feel vindicated. I don't know whether the average amount of time I'm spending is good or not. And I keep I say that every video, but it's true. Because it's... Not that it keeps me up at night, but it keeps me wondering in every single one of these videos. Is it just me? Am I exceptionally bad? Or... Is this the way everyone does it? Because obviously the, the video I saw, I mean, that's an expert. That's someone who knows what they're doing.
I've been filming this, trying to get one video for maybe three hours. This fight took me over an hour. At the recommendation of many people, most would say I should probably stop. I'm not going to. Although next time I probably will make that two videos, this is going to be one. Although next time... God, that was a nightmare. Thank you for watching this video. I know it may not have been entertaining. I know it may not have been fun. I'm sorry for that. Thanks for watching. Thank you all who have subscribed recently uh, and are watching the streams. I've gotten a lot of people come to my streams. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. I sure won't, but I hope you do. I'll see you next time. Bye.